Hello everybody, I am Alpaca Patrol, and this is Chroma Squad, and I've linked this up to be perfectly timed for the original set, or for the soundtrack, uh, to, to start, uh, while the video starts, because I like it, it's good. It's in Japanese, and I have no idea what they're saying, but it's pretty cool, and it's good sounding. So, what is Chroma Squad? Well, this is potentially a new Let's Play. It depends entirely upon whether or not people like it. Um, so, you know, let me know down in the comments whether or not you do want to see more of Chroma Squad. To give you a brief overview of what this game is, um, think XCOM. And I say think XCOM because there is a tactical element and a strategic element. Um, in that there's tactical turn-based combat in addition to a sort of base building type of uh, situation. Um, I won't explain exactly what uh, the story is because uh, we're, we're going to get underway and, and, and see what that uh, story is about in a second here. Uh, but also, if you love Power Rangers, you're going to like Chroma Squad because it's also... Think XCOM with Power Rangers because that's basically what Chroma Squad is. I have a, a game where I played a couple of missions... Um, and I like it enough that I want to I wanna play this game, so uh, I'm, I'm pumped to get in here and start it off and get ready to go. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Uh, I'm going to start with a new game. Um, we're going to play on um, interesting, so casually you just want to sit back and enjoy the story. Choose items the studio up excuse me, upgrades based on their tastes rather than their stats. Use of playing RPGs, you want to get balance of story and challenge, or you want a challenge that will test your tactical ability as well as your studio and gear choices, you're not afraid of failing if you successfully succeed. I'm gonna go with interesting. I don't I'm not particularly good at this game, but you know, I, I feel like I can I can rock an interesting, you know, level of skill. Oh, cutscene. Shh. Once upon a time, at a TV studio just like any other. Super Rangers, it's time for all stuntmen to get in the scene! Hurry up! It's us, the Super Rangers! Or the Chroma Squad. And where are the minions? There we go, there's some minions. It's the Putty Patrol! It's not actually the Putty Patrol, due to copyright reasons. There we go! We're all set for this part, effects will come later! I guess we are lacking some story, huh? Yeah, but Dr. Mia w w doesn't enjoy it that much. This is getting really boring. I'm kind of tired of. Stop talking while we're recording. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of voices, like, immediately. Battle them, or should I remind you that you may click to either walk or attack monsters? Right, so, uh, I, I know the, uh, this is, this is the tutorial section. The tutorial is actually, like, rather long. Oh, I do have teamwork available already. That's pretty cool. Um, now let's see, do I have... Well, that's not in range, unfortunately. That, however, is in range, so I can do one of these didgeridoos. So, um, they're gonna teach us how to do this, but I'm going to, uh, teamwork this fucking Putty Patrol fucker. There we go, he gets dealt with. I'll get you to attack him. Now, you can see, um, every, every, like, ranger actually has, like, a crit chance, dodge chance, uh, counter chance. All this, all these kind of cool chance thingamabobbers. Um, and, uh, so do the enemies as well. They have an uh, attack, dodge, and counter. Um, so, I actually cannot, uh, get close enough, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna teamwork, and I am gonna fuck it up, so never mind. I'm not that good at this game, like I said, so, um, I'll just, I'll just teamwork, it doesn't really matter. I think that heals, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Tis just a costume wound. So, we, we took some damage. Uh, not that big of a deal, all things considered. Let's see if, uh, we can kill this guy. So we do, we do enough damage that we can, we can bust this dude up. He's only got 20 health. We just, we just, we can do this the simple way. I did a double attack at first, but it, it is not necessary. And let's get, uh, let's get Kimberly to take this out. Fuck you, Billy. Billy's such a nerd, am I right, guys? God. Alright, we defeated three enemies. Now they're gonna teach us about teamwork, which I already used. Um, this is one of the best episodes I've seen so far this season! He always says that as long as we're defeating monsters really easily. I heard you! Now I want some back credits, we can add some explosions later. Okay, yeah, blah, blah. What kind of... 
Let me finish talking! Jeez. You should use the teamwork maneuver to toss people to make them go further if you still don't get a word I said. Use teamwork and then click on the yellow cells. Get in position. Alright. So now they're gonna teach us teamwork powers. Uh, which are... Uh, it's a pretty cool mechanic, actually. Um, and your rangers always have uh, this ability open to them. Which is pretty cool. Ready to. Alright. I actually kind of want to learn uh, how this works. So, like... Okay. So, I, I can actually get in range here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move you here, and I'm gonna teamwork you, because I wanna see what the pink ranger can do. Yeah, okay, cool. So, now, she'll have the ability to leap off of this lady, or man, I don't know who's in that yellow ranger suit, I'm not sure, and then I can fight him. Boom! The leap was successful. Can you leap off of her? No, you can't, but you can still bust this dude up, so that's fine. Oh, I have to perform three. Oh, disaster. Okay. Teamwork. Here, just just do this. I have to perform three anyway, so... It's not that big of a deal. I'll just teamwork some shit up. Um, so, namely, you, teamwork. Okay, and you come over here. Boom! Look at that sweet flip! Alright, so I completed three of them. Uh, that's good. And now I can bust this dude up and be good. Oh, it's only two. Okay, whatever. That's fine. No big deal. Cut! Another perfect scene! Be glad I'm here to tell you what to do all the time. Oh boy. Now show the audience some more teamwork! You know how it works. Attack a minion when someone is using teamwork next to it. Alright. I'll do it. I trust you guys won't hurt me! Alright. So, I do this. Boom. I'm gonna do... Uh... This. Boom. I'll get you to bust this dude up. And it'll be a double attack, which is good. Uh... And let's get another double attack. Boom! Easy! Form a squad attack with, uh, two team members. I mixed up the words, doesn't matter! Great job! Keep it up like that! I'm loving this! Move now so the boss can teleport onto the set! Where's the big girl in the monster suit? Oh, snap. This is how you're gonna do this! Remember your training! Put four of you adjacent to the monster in teamwork! And then attack the monster! Everyone around him will help you out! Okay, cool. So... This is what we call a finishing move, so... Uh, we've done this so many times already. He just likes telling people what to do, I guess. The monster will blow up and you'll have a finished move out of five of you and do it together. Shouldn't we fight the monster before the fighting move? This feels rushed. Our audience won't enjoy it. I never want to hear you say I want it that way. That's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's the Backstreet Boys, I believe. Could be mistaken, but I'm just saying. Pretty sure that's the Backstreet Boys. So, teamwork. We'll teamwork up all of these motherfuckers right in here. I mean, I shouldn't really say that. I don't necessarily know if you've ever fucked a mother. I mean, you know, nothing. there's anything wrong with that. I mean, fuck mothers all day if you really want to, but... Just not my thing. Alright, Chroma Power! Finishing move! Blast him up! Mmm! Look at that Chroma Power! Oh, it feels good. You are so strong! Explendid! Now for the grand finale, the huge monster explosion! No. And he's dead. This is ridiculous, and not even a giant robot fight. Hey! The actors just sit in their chairs. Stuntmen do most of the recording. And besides, this is so silly. We always record in the studio. We should go outside, see different places. Come on, people! Our show is not that bad. I'm listening. Why can't we run our very own studio? Oh my! That's just a perfect idea! Count me in! What? Are you leaving, Super Rangers? I'm in two! I'm in two! Let's do this! Have fun leading a studio that isn't fun to work at, Dr. Mia! Bye bye, Dr. Mia! Oh, and please stop being so mean! Oh, and please stop being so mean to your employees! Alright, you know what? I'm not even gonna do the voices! You can read! You can. Dot dot dot. Because <laughs> the voices, they're getting a bit out of hand. Plus, I'm going to need new voices anyway, because once we get, uh, things. 
So you get the general idea. At least they leave the suits at the door. But, um, so the stuntmen working for this uh, children's television show of the Power Rangers want to make their own studio. The, stunt the stuntmen met a moment later, still dressed in their old studio spandex suits. They talked about how they can start their own studio and record their first episode. After a few minutes, an idea popped up. My uncle, my uncle has a warehouse not far from here. We could use it. All right, that could be a start. It might be just what we need. Let's go there, now. I'm just going to change their voices every time. And they're pretty much all going to be like New York Italian voices. So I hope you're ready for that, because it's going to be awesome. Arriving at the warehouse, everyone got very excited because of its size. <laughs> Story of my life. Because I have a large penis, is what it and, and how could they take advantage of all that valuable space? They were looking around, thinking about camera positions. When suddenly... When someone spotted something. A huge pillar at the very center of the warehouse, covered in some sort of dirty bedsheet. No one knew what was under it. Where are those stunt actors? Oh, there they are. They need to return my studio spandex suits. But wait, what is that? I'll just keep watching. Again, story of my life. Then, curiosity knocked at someone's door, and the sheet was removed. Amazing! An incredible replica of a device used in an American hero TV series. Someone plugged in the energy cable, and the machine said its welcome message out loud. Hello, my name is Cerebro. This is an example message. Type the words in the back display, and I shall text to speech them. Everyone's eyes shine. Wow! Let them have the clothes! I know what I actually want from them now. I'll think of some devious plan. I'm out! I think he's... I think he's the main villain, guys! We were just looking for a place to set up our studio and record, but... Now we also have this Cerebro thing to support our story! It's amazing! Yes! This is it! Just ask your uncle for this too! Our future fans will love it! Will do! I love how they, <laughs> they give it like a, a pose every time they, uh, they're they saying anything. I think he'll be happy to lend us anything, including the warehouse. Hooray! Everyone gather your props at home and let's meet up tomorrow! We have plenty of work to do! Alright, so they found Cerebro! Also known as Zordon. We should just call him Zordon. I don't think you can change the name of Cerebro. You can change the name of a lot of things, though, which you'll see very soon. So the group of friends decided to take a different path in their lives. Later that day, the clothes were, th were returned to their old boss. Oh, excuse me, I'm kind of... Okay, that's good. And after a few weeks with a contract ready to be signed... Yeah! They finally have everything ready to start recording! All right, Zordon. All right, so, now we get into the strategic element. We already saw what the tactical element was like. Uh, you know, granted you didn't get to see much, but we, we now have the studio, the strategic element. So, new contract, $1,000. Conditions, record season finale after recording four other episodes. The contract will be canceled if the number of fa fans is lower than zero, which I think is impossible, because I think you just automatically get fans anyway. So, the name of the studio. Uh, let's name it Alpaca Patrol. Incorporated. Obviously. Uh, and now we get to choose our team, which I'm really pumped about. It's pretty cool. So uh, there, there are actually a bunch of dudes that you can choose from. Uh, Dude Lee, Evan Tyson, Gus Fume, Michael Florian, Michonne, the single bot. Uh, but, uh, and they all have different uh, stats. Um, but uh, I think I'm, I think I'm going to go with <laughs> Mr. Beaver. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. 20% health. Alright, minus 10... Oh, plus 10% critical, minus 20% health. So we'd have only plus 30% health. But, uh, extra crit is pretty cool. We could have a dog. Mr... Well, actually, I guess it's... Yeah. Mr. Beaver the dog! Um, minus 20% health, plus 30% sword damage. That's pretty cool. Plus 10% dodge. Minus 1 movement, plus 10% health. Minus 10% attack. Uh, pistol damage, which I don't think you use a pistol with that guy. Let's see what Evan Tyson. Minus one movement, plus one acrobatics range, plus 30% attack. That's pretty good. Maybe we'll go with Evan Tyson. 
I think it's I think it's between these two for the team leader. Dude Lee or Evan Tyson? Extra crit minus health. Acrobatics range minus one movement, but plus 30% attack. I think I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with uh well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. And that's gonna be me! Everyone knows that I am a, 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 a muscular black man. Uh, and of course, I gotta be I gotta be yellow, because I'm the I'm the leader of the team. Now, the assault! Um, the assault uh, has is attack power. Which actually, yeah, my, my should may sounds good. And that will obviously be Goral. I mean, come on now. So she can be that color green or that color green. We're going that color green. Uh, now the scout has extra movement, specialized in moving fast, stunning enemies. So uh, we do want someone who moves pretty fast. Counter and health is actually pretty good. Uh, plus one movement, minus attack. Um, minus one movement, minus one movement. Item drop rate is pretty cool. Um, oh, enemy dodge and enemy counter. That's interesting. What do you have? Gain skill rate and uh, most users source of coming in the eyes of weapons severe specialized in long range combat through skills. So what did I have you set as? Uh, minus 30 enemy dodge, minus 30 enemy counter. Um, long range combat. I think this is fine. Extra movement, minus dodge, minus counter, plus 20% of her own counter. I'm alright with this. Um, and, uh, let's, let's make that Gleta. That'll be Gleta. Gleta will be this ranger. Um, make it a light blue. That sounds pretty cool. I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, uh, so we have Gleta Goral, we have me, and, uh, as the team leader, obviously. Uh, and gain skill regen. Specialize in long-range combat through skill. So, uh, damage wouldn't be bad. Health is okay. Skill regen... I don't know, is that a good thing? Minus five skill regen? Crafting quality, 30% health, plus one movement, uh, minus 20% weapon attack. Oh, he gives us mecha health, that's pretty cool. Oh, pistol damage! Weasley stripes! <laughs> we get Weasley stripes on the team. Um, yeah. He's got pistol damage, I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, but who could that be? I guess that could be, uh, uh our, the deer god. Although, what would his, uh, color be? Like, white? I'd be alright. I'd be alright with that. Make him purple. I kinda want a purple ranger, honestly. Make him pink. Pink is pretty cool. I should make my character pink, but I mean, I gotta be yellow. It's like an alpaca, alpaca's fur, I mean, right? You know, you know what I mean? Alright, so he'll be the, uh, the deer god, probably. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I'm fine with that. And, uh, Scar. Okay, so. Heal regen. Alert Johansson. Plus skill regen. Uh, fan conversion rate. That's pretty good. Um, so, so it is, the negative is negative, obviously. Um, item drop rate. Plus four skill regen. Plus 10% critical. Minus 20 health. Um, that's alright. That ain't so bad. Um, I mean, it's lower health, but extra regen. I mean, 20% skill regen, that's an extra, like, one point of skill regen with the plus 20% base. <clears throat> and extra crit. The minus health isn't great. I think we're gonna do it. That's fine. And, uh, forget that this is a dude. That's, that's, that's now Maul. Molly. Molly. Make her light pink. No, not light pink. Actually, let's make her purple. Yeah. Yeah. Purple. I think that's her favorite color. Don't tell her, I don't know. Alright, cool. So our, our Power Ranger team looks pretty cool. We have, uh, we have, uh, you know, a yellow ranger, a green ranger, a blue ranger, a white ranger, and a purple ranger. I mean, I could go traditional Mighty Morphin Power Rangers colors, but, you know. Alright, confirm your squad battle of the setup. There is no turning back for this saved game. Continue! A game is saved. Easy. 
The other alternative was, uh, like, renaming them based on, um, uh, like, based on my friends. Which, you know, could be fun. But, um, anyway. Alright. So, <clears throat> we have some, uh, we have a cool looking team. We have a cool looking team. I'm pretty excited about it. So, uh, now, this, again, like I said, this is the strategic element. Uh, you can press record to do a mission if I wanted to right now. I don't really want to. Send bug report. That's interesting. And that's our options. I guess we might as well save right away. Alright, cool. Game has been saved. Easy. Back to game. Um, so, now, we can go into the shop, and we can buy weapons and stuff. I don't really want to do that just yet. I think that this is the main thing. Actually, wait, hold on. Let's go into our, uh, emails first. Uh, props and etc. What is this? Oh, episode one, uh, final actor's salary is $130. Got the balance, okay. Uh, hello, hello, how are you all doing? My name is Hermes Barreto, and I am chief on crafting props and some of the wares that you've seen quite some special bonuses. Make sure to visit my shop there. Okay, cool, thanks, bud. Oh, wait, there we go. Alright, so, studio. There's a couple upgrades that you can get, uh, already, right off the back. One, we could get the bigger studio for all of our money. That's a silly idea, I think. Uh, but firstly, shop par partnership. 20% discount in shop prices. I like it. Um, so let's, let's, let's get that, firstly. Microphone. Um, every episode minus 10, but 10% audience gain from combat and skills. I'm taking it. Um, crafting rate, I don't really care. Uh, plus 10% audience, audience gain from director's instructions. Boom, I'm taking it. This is, uh, extra health, uh, which is nice, but I'll probably get that later. And we could also set this stuff up. So it's obviously not going to be the Chroma Squad. It's going to be the Patrol, clearly. Um, and let's make this Alpacify. Uh, transformation shout. Um, it's... Alpaca vacation time. Mech name. Uh, the Alpaca Zord. Call Mecha Shout. Um, Alpaca Zord. Roll out. It's gonna roll. That's gonna be its main thing. Uh, finishing move. Um, uh, Fleece. Uh... <laughs> we can just call it Fleece! Um, no, it's gotta be something cool. Uh, finishing move. So they, they have Chroma Power. What could be a cool... Um... Hmm. <laughs> oh man. You know what? I will say, if down in the comments you have a better finishing move than this, um, I'm just gonna put it as Alpaca Power for right now. But, um, if you have a better name for a finishing move, by all means, put it down in the comments and I will read it. Um, okay, cool. That's good. So, we've set up our, uh, studio, we've set up all our stuff. Uh, actors, uh, I could change, you can look at their skills, um, uh, their equipment and stuff, uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't have anything else. A couple of them have, uh, different abilities. Like... Uh, find where you turn and represent damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one. Uh, so the, the target takes more damage. Um, because I think you can choose between what active skill you have. And that's, the techie I think is the only one. Oh wait, no, this is different. Gain 15 skill regen. No, I'm gonna go for the heal. Um, okay, cool. Alright, this is gonna be a strange cut, but I cut, and it was weird, and I had to reset some shit. A bunch of shit happened. Either way, we're gonna start off with, uh, a, <laughs> with the pilot episode, so, sorry, this makes no sense to you, because you're, it's gonna be like a seamless cut, except it's not seamless since I'm saying things, whatever, either way, pilot episode, the pilot episode for your very own series today, Mighty Inc. will deal with a new threat that appeared in your science lab, that's not Mighty Inc., excuse me game, it's actually Alpaca Patrol Incorporated, very different, uh, so we have to do some special things, whatever, let's start, uh, some board meetings and reply, reply to them before getting... Props, etc. Yeah, alright, I already did that, sorry. Um, but now, now we will do it! Now it will begin. I'm ready. Bump up ba up up bidi bap up Season 1, Episode 1. Wow, our first episode, that's awesome! What if our first story was about a group of monsters that tried to rob a science lab? And then I beat up dozens of them? 
Okay, Goral, calm down. Yeah, great, but hold on. We should add a narrator. Don't start the action yet. Once upon a time, a group of heroes is born. What do you think, Alpaca? I heard that a good plot starts like that! Uh, it's good, but it's spelled wrong, isn't it? Once up time? Oh, the guy who sold us the narrator software told me it's one of the quirks. We should just roll with it. These powerful teenagers are the last hope of humanity, and their first task is to defend a science lab from an evil monster. Hmm, but aren't the minions kind of late? Where'd they go, Glitta? I don't know, Alpaca, they should hurry. What do you say, Molly? Well, they must be getting dressed. No worry, let's just have fun with our new job, Winky Face. Alright, here they come. We'll have lots of editing to do later, dear god. Action! Noisy noises. Hey, you all! Get ready for some action! All right, so we have to perform three team, uh, three team, perform three team acrobatics, which will give us more fans and keep all actors above fifty percent health. So we can't alpacify yet. That's all right though, because we need to get more audience. Audience, we got to get more of the audience there. Okay, so I'm gonna acrobatify uh, your shit, and we'll get Goral jumping over here to blast this dude right in his stupid face. We didn't kill him though. That's unfortunate. Um. <clears throat> and we'll get you to acrobatify over here so that um, you can get jumping. Jump diddly upping. Go right there. Boom. Bust them up, dear god. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and there's the third team acrobatic right there. I didn't actually mean to do that, but that's okay. And now we can alpacify. <clears throat> but I won't do that just yet. Uh, because it's, you know. It's a cool thing that I want to, you know, save for, for good times. Okay. Maybe we will. We have to keep everybody above 50% health, so... That is certainly something we have to consider. Alright, so... Goral does a lot of damage, so uh, I'm actually going to bust this guy up first. And we got some duct tape, which... There is a crafting system in the game which we haven't seen just yet. Um, so Goral does more damage than Glutta does. She's at 78 to 98 versus 52 to 65. That's because she's an assault class. Um, who does the least damage? I think Maul does the least damage. 52 to 56, 52 to 65, 83 to 10, right, so... Um, we'll get Maul to, uh, deal with this guy. Maul is definitely a, um, a Bruce Lee, uh, bodied Asian man, clearly. I don't know if this is going to kill him. Yeah, it will. Okay, good. And we're good to go. As long as we keep everybody above 50% health, roar! Then we're, we're Gucci, you know? Grar. All right, there's a lot of grarring going on here. So, uh, firstly, we'll get Glett over here. We'll teamwork so that, uh, so that Goral can bust this dude up and get a double attack. All right, that's easy. Um, we'll get... Alright, how much health does this thing have? Oh, it's got tiny health. So we're actually gonna move Maul over here. And we're gonna hit this guy. Good work, Maul. We're gonna get Deer God in here for the teamwork attack. And then, uh, get me up to bust that dude up with my sweet boxing skills. Oh, and there's still one more, uh, you know, Putty Patrol. little teamwork. And fuck him up. Oh, he dodged! What a player! Okay, so... Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay, though. I think it should be fine. Um, as long as Maul can get... Okay, she can. Good. Now we'll, uh, now we'll teamwork. And bust you up. Double attack. Oh my god, he dodged again! What a fucking player! God damn it, that might take us below 50% health. I'm kind of pissed about that, actually. All right, let's get a let's get a quadruple attack here, and we'll let Maul take the quadruple. Fantastic quadruple! There we go. Two hundred forty-nine damage. We actually killed him. Yeah, we didn't keep all actors above fifty percent health because that fucking monster dodged twice. That's bullshit. After defeating the powerful aliens, while the squad was planning what to do next, something devious appears. 
That's an amazing entrance, Transit Mancer! This will be great! Keep it up! Mal's gonna be so mad if she ever hears her voice in this. The Patrol! Why did you have to mess up our visit to the Science Lab? You will face the consequences, but not right now! I'll come for you later! Uh, what was Glitta's voice? What were you doing in that lab? It's none of your business! Wow! Who was that traffic light guy and where did he go? Wait, Goral, are you acting or are you really lost right now? I'm glad that Goral is actually the stupid one. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't plan that. Oh, come on, Glitter. I'm acting. Go on with the story. Uh, okay, well, I don't know, Goral, and I can't track it with my scanner. That monster may strike again any minute now. The Cerebral might have something to say. You're right, Molly. We should see Cerebro. Yeah, look at that sweet teleport. The patrol heads to Cerebro's chambers. They reach the place with a glorious teleport effect. It is very glorious, isn't it, though? Wow, dear god, I didn't expect that you could render such a cool background with the chroma key. Me neither. This looks much better than the, old, than the one I did. Better for us, huh? After everyone explains the situation to Cerebro. Why do they want that research data so badly, Cerebro? They believe it is key for them to unlock the power of time travel. This is not a power that anyone should have. Now return to your previous location. I'm detecting a new threat. It's impressive to see this Cerebro device working. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah! The patrol heads back. Yes, it does. The teleport, the teleport effect is not ready yet. To the scene, running! Alright. Where are the monsters? Can't wait to use my special poses. Uh, I'm late! How deep are we into the episode? Deep enough, you are so late, Boxing Box! Oh, this won't happen again, I'm sorry! Back to our lines then! I'll turn you into cardboard! Don't get me wrong, girl, I'm cardboard! <laughs> Minions, join me! Alright, ready to serve, boss! Watch out! Alright, so we have to defeat the boss monster with a finishing move and defeat all enemies before attacking the boss monster. But first, let's start her off with an alpacify! It's alpacification time! Oh yeah, it's alpacification time! Boom! Now we are fucking badass, and we have all our moves, which is sweet! So, uh, multi-shot- Ah, I forgot to change that! I had to restart the whole didgeridoo, don't. So, 81 to 94 damage. Um, well, yeah, that'll that'll take one out right off right off the bat. So we'll redo it and put it on cooldown. Boom! Blast him. Okay, he had some sort of a defensive ability. Clearly. Um, I'm just gonna get you to bust this dude up. Okay, girl did some deeps. That's good. Um, I'm gonna get you here. I'm gonna teamwork it so that nothing will happen. Excellent. All right, we'll, we'll just jump me in here, that's fine. And we'll, we'll bust this dude up with Maul. Good work, Maul. Excellent work. Well played. All right, I've taken a bit of damage. That's okay. Raw. Okay, Maul's taking a bit of damage. That's unfortunate. And Girl's taking a bit of damage. Yikes! I mean, yikes! Oh no, Boxing Box is here. The mighty Boxing Box. Alright, so this is a, uh, a stun ability, which, uh, I will use, probably? Yeah, let's, let's go, let's go stun. Stunning pose! We'll get two with the stun. It's pretty good. How much health does this guy have? He's got full health. How much damage do you do? 52 to 65 versus 50 to 66, that doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna go over here on a teamwork. And 
I get mauled. Double attack. Easy. Rares. Easy. Life. Oh, he's got stunning pose uh, ready to go. That's good. Um, do I have a move? No, I'm out of moves. Goral does have a move, however. This is uh, full health, unfortunately, so we'll just do that. That's fine. And we'll bust this dude up. That's fine. Oh, good dodge! Better luck next time! Try that again! Super Punch! Alright, that's badass. He Super Punched Ball right in the mouth. It's pretty rude, honestly. Um, so I, uh, I do the best damage, don't I? Yeah, 83 to, uh, to 91. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually come over here. I'm gonna team work with you, and then we're gonna double attack this guy. Oh, I'm all stunned, right, yeah. That's a problem. Alright, that's fine. Take that guy out. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. Uh, let's do this. Maybe maybe the multi-shot will actually work. Yeah, there we go. Nice! Okay, we took him out. Good work. So now we just have to finish him with a super move. So we will totally do that. How much health does he have? 396. Alright. So we'll hit him a couple times. Ooh, 8 damage. And he countered. Oh boy, that's not good. So let's get a, uh... Let's get a, a, a quadruple attack on this guy. And he should... Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll do just a triple attack and see how much damage that does. Okay, he's taking a bit. Okay, and we'll finish him on the next turn with our super ability. Okay, cool. So now, we will supercharge our business. Goral, not me. Dear God, teamwork. Molly, deep teamwork. And Alpaca, finish him off! Let's do this! Alpaca power! Boom! Get blasted, bitch! Alright. So we only missed out on one of the four objectives that we had. Oh, I've been recycled! <laughs> but what about that transit mancer? Monsters always come back when they fall on their first try. It'll show up soon enough, Glenna! And when it comes back, we'll be there to stop. To be continued. Well done, everyone. This episode should make quite a splash in the community. Agreed. Agreed it should. Will it? Excellent question. Answer, I have no idea. So, we got some materials. Duct tape, Play-Doh, cotton, gua gouache paint? I don't know how to say that word. That's interesting. Uh, so we could use that to craft things. Uh, it cost under $30 to make that episode. But we gained 73 fans and $483. That's not bad. Uh, wow, I did not mean to watch the Patrol episodes for hours. There was only one, so it really shouldn't be hours. I'm enjoying the Patrol up to the point that uh, that good wins in the end. Evil minions team monsters. Wow, what a dick. Get everyone together at home to watch season three of the Patrol. I thought that the good uh, good and love on this episode was very ham-fisted. Evil minions villain team. Wow, a lot of people are on the, the side of the, the evil. Alright, so my game is being saved. The game has been saved. Now, I don't know... I'm not gonna trust it. I'm just gonna save it again. Um, so yeah, that was indeed the first episode of Chroma Squad, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it, um, thanks for watching, um, it's rather long, the rest of the episodes won't be this long, uh, particularly, so you don't have to worry about that? I don't know if you would worry about that. Either way, though, um, uh, thanks for watching this first episode, and again, since this is the first part of a new series, I don't know if people want to see more, so if you do, let me know down in the comments, and also, as this is the first part of the new series, this is the only time I ever really asked to do this, uh, feel free to leave a like so that I know. A dislike if you don't like it, too. That's totally fine as well. Um, that's what it's for. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and hopefully you guys do want to see more of this, because I like playing it, so, uh, yeah, let me know. Anyway... Thank you all for watching. You're a bunch of beautiful people. 
This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.